Y'all saw the thumbnail. Y'all saw the title. Y'all know what this video is about. There's actually going to be more videos like this where I'm giving my commentary about things that I see in the music and culture news, whether it be on Twitter or anywhere. I'm just going to give my opinion on it. And this one is a big one for our community and for this channel. Eminem was the number one streamed rapper in 2022 with 5.1 billion streams, 2.1 billion over the next closest. That is like Usain Bolt winning by 30 yards and we're just waiting for the rest of the fucking sprinters to catch up and get the second gold and I mean the silver and bronze. Bro, that is far above the next closest, which is Doja Cat. Before I even get to my topic of conversation with Eminem, I want to say that I'm proud of Doja, dog. Give some claps for her. Yeah, she did her thing, bro. I will say it till I'm blue in the face. I'll die on the hill. Doja Cat, if she wanted to be, if she put out only rap, she would be one of the greatest, if not the greatest rappers, female side of all time. Doja clears Nicki Minaj so heavy. And I know the Nicki stands, the queens are gonna hate to hear it, whatever the fuck y'all call yourselves. Y'all are gonna hate to hear it. But Doja clears Nicki she fell off bro the only other one that i'm surprised by actually is 50 cent Lil dirk i expect Nicki minaj she's like Lil wayne she's like one of those she's like eminem like people are gonna listen even if she don't drop shit juice world always gonna be up there because juice heads go crazy as they should you know i i kind of got juice juice world heads a little mad when i said that his music would probably be a little less relevant what i meant is that juice's sound is not going to be able to evolve and keep up with the times as music and as rap evolves you know sounds change styles change juice world will remit will forever will be locked in this time capsule because he he's not alive to evolve with the changing of music it will still always impact people very hard and he will always have a strong fan base it's just his music is not going to evolve as it will for everybody else Lil Nas X I don't know if you can call him a rapper anymore but I expect that from Lil Nas Future is obviously Future the goat of trap Lil Baby album was mid to me this year but obviously he's got a lot of albums he got a lot he is one of the biggest artists also NBA Youngboy is an artist that I will never understand and I don't know if he gets views because his fans actually like his music or does he get views because it's a meme but Drake obviously I expect he's the biggest entertainer the biggest artist in the world outside of bad bunny but the real reason why we are here is because eminem is at the top and the real reason i wanted to make this video is because i don't know if it's an american mentality but motherfuckers swear bro people swear that no one's listening to eminem in 2022 and i think it's just americans and our selfish we're the best mentality i know that we're not the best at everything but when we are the best at something we hold that like very close and two of the things that are undeniably we are the world leader in is entertainment and specifically hollywood movies and our music industry you make it in hollywood you make it in our music industry you have made it i don't care how big of a fan base k-pop has i don't care how big of a fan base uk is building in their rap scene the united states still holds the number one most influential spot when it comes to music especially rap and when it comes to hollywood so i think that the fact that we are at that point it blinds people whenever people are like who even is listening to him i literally saw that let me click on this so this is the Daily Loud, right? I follow them. They just post fucking random facts, random rap numbers. But this is the one that most people are talking about whenever they're talking about the list. And if we go to these comments here, first off, this is one of the stupidest comments I've ever seen. How does Juice World have views if he died? Huh? You think they just wipe his account because he's dead? Like, that's not how it works. All of these M haters are just racist. I didn't know so many people are still listening to Eminem. This is a normal comment here. But then we get into comments like, how the fuck is Eminem even on this? He's on it because he had 5.1 billion streams. It's a, it's a fact list. It's not an opinion based. This is a fact. This list is a fact. That's the stupidest question I've ever seen. Haven't heard Slim Shady songs in 10 years. They gotta be lying. Be for real. Nobody was watching Eminem. Who listens to Eminem? But this is the comment right here that got me that I was like, oh, okay, it all makes sense. And this is this just affirmed what I thought. It's not blacks hating on Eminem. It's black Americans. We from Africa and Asia love the goat. And that's the real reason why I'm making this video, bro, because we think as Americans that the shit revolves around us. Eminem has one of the largest global fan bases in the world. Is Eminem as popular in the United States or as relevant or as whatever you want to call it in the United States as he was prior to recovery? No, he's not. 
He's never going to be that again. No one is going to be that again. No one is going to reach that level of controversy and still make it out on top in the way that Eminem did. But it's just a complex that America has when it comes to us being the best at whatever we are. And, and we are, but that doesn't negate the, the power of the rest of the world. A lot of the people that watch my channel are from India. A lot of the people that watch my channel are from Sweden or, or, from, or from Europe or some country where Eminem is now the largest over there because maybe they gravitate toward his technical style of rapping more so than we do over here. And I got stands and I got Eminem fans in my comments like, oh, you switched up on Eminem. You only you only used him for your views to get your channel growing and then you don't, you're you a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm just not a stan. I'm not gonna automatically just love and hype everything that in, any artist does, not just Eminem, The Weeknd, anybody that I am a huge fan of, I'm not just gonna automatically hype their shit because that's what you wanna view. And people don't like to hear that there's two Eminems. There's a pre-recovery and a post-recovery but it's clear as day after he came out of rehab, when he took that hiatus from music for a couple of years, recovery forward, Eminem is very technical, very wordplay heavy, very simile metaphor, a lot of double entendres. A couple of songs are going to have deep meanings like darkness and things like that. But a lot of them are going to be very hype. They're going to be very braggadocious, which is fine. But that is a clear different Eminem and the Eminem Slim Shady LP up to relapse. It's a clear difference. This Eminem in the past was very was very rhyme scheme heavy but the topic of the of the song was at the forefront of the song it wasn't the raps the raps were there in order to make the song sound good and i was like god damn these rhyme schemes double single double triple quadruple syllable rhyme schemes internals like that was the shining thing along with the topic of the song where now the rhyme schemes are still there topic of the song is not as serious as they used to be or as because he's not that guy anymore he's not, he's not 25 and taking on the world. He is the GOAT and he's making sure people are aware with the new style of rap. That new style of rap might not be, it might not hold a lot of replay value for me. It's exciting, yes, but for me, the replay value isn't there as much as his older stuff because I'm someone who focuses on emotion and subject matter over technicalities of rap. But regardless, just because I prefer old Eminem to new Eminem, the rest of the world fucks heavy with new Eminem. And it's for a reason. It's extremely impressive. It's extremely impressive. He still has a hold on rap music across the world that no one else in the industry does. And I think a lot of Americans are just like, oh, we don't fuck with it. It's corny now. So that means that means the whole world thinks he's corny. The people that say that Eminem is corny and he's not relevant and all these kind of things. They're the same people that are up in arms that people have Eminem at the number one spot because he's white. I'm normally not one to bring race into it, but Eminem is somebody who race 100% plays a factor into the size that he is and the dominance and the just straight up influence that he's had over the rap genre. As a as a total package rapper, he, there is no one that is bigger or better than Eminem. And a big portion of that is because he is white. And that's not me bringing race into it. That's the legitimate fact that he is fully understanding and has been since Eminem's show. And it's a gift and a curse for people who don't like to see Eminem because he's white at the top of people's list for greatest rapper of all time. It's a curse for them because they don't want to see that. But the gift that Eminem brought to rap is that he single-handedly, single-handedly made rap the number one genre of music in the world. It was never, rap was never going to pass rock and roll without the help of Eminem and Eminem bringing rap music to the forefront, to the television with a white rapper in front of middle-class white America audiences. It allowed rap fans who were not allowed to be rap friends to come out of the shadows and, and proclaim their love for rap. And people who had not previously listened to rap who like Eminem, they go on and explore and find other rap and subgenres that they like, and that's all at the hand of Eminem. See, the problem is, is I speak to suburban kids who otherwise would have never knew these words exist, whose moms probably would have never gave two squirts of piss till I created so much motherfucking turbulence. People just mad, yo. People just mad. They just hate because, I mean, I honestly don't even know. Like, imagine being a hater. Imagine we're fresh into the first week of the new year, and the first thing you do is go and hate on Twitter. Like, I can't... What? <laughs> Look at this shit right here. Comments whenever Eminem achieves something. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, props to him, dog. People blow my mind. I'm starting to think that some people are incapable of the thought of object permanence. 
It's like Eminem is out of sight, so it's out of mind. He doesn't exist. And, and oh, I'm American, so my word means everything. And then they go and see that, oh shit, Eminem's 5.1 billion streams on YouTube? How did that happen? Yeah, that's because the rest of the world 